adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. John Lafitte uh, turned pirate. I beg your pardon, sir. Jean and Pierre were not pirates. They were privateers. And furthermore, they, uh... They, uh... No. It can't be. You're ghosts. That's what you are, ghosts. Keep away from me. Keep away. Don't oh. touch me. Stop this nonsense. We're just as much alive as you are. Si, senor. What, what, what made you think we are gods? Why, it's amazing. Perfectly astounding. What is astounding? How amazing? Hey, come, I'll, I'll show you. Look at that painting. <laughs> you know, Cisco, you look just like Jean Lafitte. And you, just like his brother Pierre. Do you wonder now that I, I thought you were ghosts? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Cisco, who can tell? Maybe we got the blood of the pirates running around in our veins, eh? Privateers, sir, and patriots, too. You should be proud that you look like Jean and Pierre. Not only did they and their men help defeat the British at New Orleans in the War of 1812, but they also helped capture Florida from the Spaniards. They did? Yes, Pancho, he is right. Ah, uh, gentlemen, I recall my father telling me of the attack on the Spanish garrison at Boca Grande. It was in 1817. Jean and his men were in camp. There had been no fighting for a while, but the men were not idle. There was equipment to be kept in condition and clothing to be repaired, and, uh... No, then on the shovel, pig. I spit on you. What is the trouble, Pierre? Here, let me do it. Voila. Un tissu. It is very simple. Yeah, for you, maybe. <laughs> Oh, my horse. A courier from the general, eh? Monsieur Lafitte. I am Lafitte. I beg your pardon, sir, but you don't look like a pirate. I mean, that is, you... Never mind that. Did you bring word from General Jackson? A dispatch, sir. <laughs> he wants us to help him drive the Spaniards out of Florida, huh? The last time we helped him drive them out of New Orleans, we get nothing but promises, let him drive them out himself. Give my compliments to the general and tell him that we'll attack Boca Grande on the morning of the 22nd. Yeah, but John, you... The fight is ours too, Pierre. Don't forget, we are American now. That is all. Very good, sir. <laughs> American. I am privateer, and privateer fight only for gold. Then goodbye, old friend, and good luck. Oh, you cannot mean this. But I do mean it. Well, wait, I, I am a fool, but uh, who's going to protect you when the fighting is the worst, huh? 
If you leave me, I will go with you. Ha <laughs> ha, Pierre. I knew you would see it my way. And as for the gold, ah, gold poof. There is plenty of gold in the garrison at Boca Grande. <laughs> now he tells me. And it is said brought its treasure back to Louisiana with them. They got plenty of gold with them, huh? <laughs> yes, quite a lot. But nobody knows where Lafitte buried it. Buried it? Yes, somewhere in these parts. Many people have searched for it, but with no success. Are you sure you're not descendants of Lafitte? Who knows? But Pancho, we must be on our way. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. Adios. Goodbye, gentlemen. Maybe we can find a treasure, no? <laughs> you know what it's very functional? No, no, but you've heard what the man inside said. Yeah, just a waste of
dead. that his neck is broke up, Cisco. The girl is gone, Pancho. Maybe she'll run away. I doubt it. Let's get him on the rig, tie up the horses, and see if we can find any tracks. <laughs> this exciting adventure of the Cisco Kid will continue in just a moment. Out here, Ma. Where's the old man? He kicked me. He's the rat. 
when my back was turned. He's gone, the rat. That's all right. None of your lips, you scurvy scum. I'm your mother. Now get out there and find him. Come on, Bernardo. Right. Okay. Bring your canteen with you. Here, Cisco. Pancho, hold his head. <sighs> Take it easy. <sighs> The feet, the feet, you are dead. Pierre, Pierre Dupre. Then I must be dead too. Uh, you're very much alive, my friend. Here, have some more water. That bonnet, that bonnet, it Tony's. Where'd you get it? Where? Don't worry, Cisco and Pancho will get your Tony back to you safe and sound. Come on, take it easy. Throw your hands up. Quicker, we'll scuttle you. Get that gun. Pass them away. Throw him over one of the horses. Blow me down, you're the spitting image of John Lafitte. Yes, I know. I've been looking for his treasure. He's in our saddlebags. <laughs> Get up, Mr. Pancho. Pick our gun. Good work, Ricky. Now let's get them all back to Ma. She'll know what to do with them. Mr. Gerardo, if this is another trick, I'll slice that girl into slivers. No, no, this is no trick. I'll show them where the treasure is buried. Ah, go on with your kit. Go on. Go on. Ah. Come on, let's go. Ah.
What are you going to do now, Cisco? What we did in the lunch. Hey, how about some water? <laughs> yeah, have my drink, Bernardo. All three of them. <laughs> then finish them off. I'll sure do that, Ma. <laughs> Here, Gerardo. Are you sure this is the place Lafitte buried the treasure? Uh, I don't know. Some place in this ravine. That's all I can tell you. Well, it better be. Or we'll dig that hole big enough for you. Reach and make it quick. You, throw your gun away. Are you all right, Grandpa? Shoot. You'll get her first. Watch him! Make another break and I'll break your neck. Now get going! Well, if there was no treasure in the cave, why did you take the bandidos there? To save Tony from being tortured, Pancho. I was praying for time and hoping that my prayers would be answered. And they were, Grandpa. You know, how you know they go to that special place? It was just a guess. Grandpa used to take me there when I was a small girl to tell me stories about the oh, oh, lobsters! Senora! Be careful, Pancho. And Disco, lightning never hit two times in the same place. Senora! Pancho will have a look at your lobsters. Hi! <laughs> oh, Cisco! <laughs> oh, Pancho! <laughs> Goodbye, amigos. See you. 